Okay, today's adventure, we are driving out to Cape Cod from Markham, Ontario, which is about a thousand kilometers, um, to auto camp, which is basically kind of like glamping, these airstreams that are planted. We did this once before in California and Yosemite and the kids loved it. Uh, so when we heard it was coming to the East Coast, it was definitely a trip that we want to do and we're doing it today. Okay, so first stop, you know what? Actually sitting in the back seat of the Y is actually really comfortable. I prefer it, not that I'm just sitting with the kids, but I actually prefer it sitting back there. I feel like there's a lot of room. Anyways, um, this stop is good. Just a switch LA behind me. Uh, the charges are relatively fast and uh, we spent a little bit of time here to eat. So our next stop will be in the USA. So hopefully we'll get there before uh, tomorrow. Okay, so we're at the border right now, and um, my wife just informed me that it looks like boss, we're heading into Boston with a snowstorm. Ooh, that should be fun. Uh, anyways, we're just about to hit the border. This one's my favorite one. <laughs> oh, holy smokes, what a difference a couple hours makes. Okay, uh, we're in Syracuse right now. Um, kids stopped off, or there's a hotel here, they want to go to the washroom. Uh, a few things. First, there's two of them here, uh, kind of close by. My wife was looking at the statistics and this one's a little bit slow. It's 150 kilowatts versus the other one. It's 250. It's fine. We got some time to kill. Second thing is, um, there's kind of a winter mode as we're in like the heart of a storm right now. I uh, don't know if you guys know this. Uh, I don't know if it's on every Tesla, but for the Tesla Y, I noticed there's a huge difference when you kind of go into this mode. Uh, let me go in the car and I'll show you. So the main thing you want to do is you want to go into the pedals and steering. Two things that I had, uh, keep the regenerative braking low and there's an off-road assist button. The car's in park right now, so I can't put it on. Keep those two things on and it would really, really help um, with this crazy weather driving. Second thing too, if you guys run into any heat issues, you wanna make sure that that front grill, it's not blocked. You don't want it to be blocked up because I ran into some problems um, the second year or the first year where I went through a whole bunch of heater pumps. I know that there was a problem with Tesla, but the same whining noise comes in when that whole front grill is blocked up. So I know it's tough when we're doing road trips like this, but just make sure that's not blocked or just check it periodically. If you start hearing your heater pump do some funky whine, uh, that's super important, or if you start losing heat. So we can't take the slower supercharger. We're gonna head over to this one right here, the Rona one. Time right now is 6.05. ETA is still 10.45, um, probably gonna be a little bit later. I'm gonna see what's around here. This supercharger is pretty cool. I think it has a lot more options than the other one, than the other hotel. There's a, there's a Walgreens behind me and there's a strip mall plaza that's pretty large. Um, I'll just kind of see what's around. I'll have one. Driving into the night was pretty brutal, to be honest. The whiteout conditions were bad, the roads were super slippery, but um, the Y handled it pretty well. We got into Boston safe at night, and the next day was like a complete different day. Like, talk about night and day difference. All right, so we're back on route. Um, this has been the craziest trip ever since we hit like every weather climate. Like right now it's plus 11. We came in the other night, it was a huge snowstorm. This blows my mind. We're gonna be stuck in traffic right now, going to grab some food, um, because I think obviously the Airstream doesn't have any food there. And our travel destination should be about from here, Boston's about an hour and a half um, stuck in this traffic. <laughs> Okay, we are at our final stop before we head over to Cape Cod. This is a good stop. Uh, first of all, everything that we need to get done is in this plaza. So if you're at this Hanover Crossing Supercharger, you got a Trader Joe's, which is amazing. Um, and there's a 
Target that's around the corner. A lot of time at Trader Joe's getting stuff and my wife was at Target buying all this stuff too. So right now the time is 6.30 only problem with this location is is that it's supposed to be a fast charge at like a 250 up kilowatts uh, and faster I'm only getting about 87 right now so it says my battery's cold which just doesn't make any sense but uh, hopefully that will go up but we're in no real rush we just want to get there for dinner time check out this really useful bag we got from Tesloid so it's basically an insulated bag on one side and most importantly it has handles so when you load up all your groceries you can pop the whole bad boy out at one shot Good morning. All right, so it's super early right now. I tried to wake up to get the, the sunrise, but I kind of missed that boat. I'll try to do a time lapse tomorrow morning before we leave, but um, we got in late last night. Kids are still sleeping. Mom just woke up, um, but it's super good. We had dinner, um, just kind of settled in, and uh, I'll give you guys a tour when the kids wake up. We got one of these um, units versus an Airstream that we had in Yosemite, and we like it a lot. Like it, it's, I can't wait to show you guys. So this is super dope. But anyways, I need a coffee because it's too early for me right now. So we got mom situated all in the clubhouse. So she has to work all day today and I got the kids, which is amazing. Um, inside was a little bit loud with the music. Uh, I think she's gonna freeze outside personally, but hey man, that's that's where she wants to work. She's gonna be working right there on the outside. Um, but this is an overview, like this is perfect. Look, check out, this is exactly a good kind of like a drone situation where we're staying. Let me flip the camera around one second. So that's basically it. Like we are probably at one of those ones right there. Okay, so I take that all back. They were super kind and they kind of pumped the volume down because they didn't know how loud it was up here. It was like bumping like a club. Uh, so this is where mom will be working because you know, you corporate parking people all day. We're gonna head off. I gotta get some firewood and breakfast for the kids and where days are starting. Okay, so before I go back, a few things. Uh, they have a charger here, which is super, super good. So they have a charger here on the main building, which is at the top. Uh, this is the universal charger that you can use. I'm parked all the way at the back down there, which is not that far away, which is like literally one few steps down. My car's down there and they have a Tesla charger. Just perfect for this trip for us. And kind of, we called to make sure they had this and they had it available, which is amazing. Let's do a little tour for you guys. Time to cue the unnecessary epic music. Once I got the fire started, cooked up some food, fed the kids, picked up Gigi, and we headed out. So it seems like everything's about a five minute drive here. We just drove out another five to eight minutes and we're at this little hike location. There's a beach here. Ting, do you remember the name of this place? The Knot. The Knot. This place is called The Knot, which is pretty cool. N-O-T? K K N O T. Um, the knob, like the oh, the knob. Sorry, it's called the knob. Okay, uh, we were ten steps literally away from the knob. I, I can show you the knob now. This this is the knob. God, this place was so beautiful. Kind of reminded me of what we used to do in California. Just kind of hike all the time, explore. Um, we hopped back into the car and within another five minutes we saw a lighthouse and this kind of um, exhibit showing different types of anchors which was kind of cool. We got back at night and we roasted some marshmallows and headed to the clubhouse where they had live music and played games. Next morning uh, we headed out. All right, we're back in Markham. A few things, that snowstorm that we encountered was bloody ridiculous, but um, with the snow tires on, two modes activated, like I mentioned, the car felt super planted and um, really good in the winter, like as good as my previous car, and that was a Subaru STI. So, so good. Uh, second thing, going to auto camp was fun. Like, uh, I love these road trips, and especially a little bit during off season, 
as you can see, it felt like we had the bloody place to ourselves, which was kind of cool. And lastly, just wanted to say thank you. Like you guys, like just if you watched it to this far of this video and you continue watching our adventures, I just wanted to say super thankful. Um, thank you, thank you. I really enjoy making these and just kind of like if it helps influence you guys to take road trips and to spend more time with your family. Hey man, that's that's kind of the goal because honestly, we really love doing this. So thank you, thank you.